What's up, Criders? I am Azard and this is Gems of War. Day 2 of 4, and it's always terrifying yellow day. But let's see how we do against uh, killing hunters today. We are up against Rat Obsidious Rope Dart and Mercy team. They are using Deep Class, which isn't leveled up. Oh, Dusk's Aura. Okay, so no stealthy. I think they could have done a little bit better with the class choice here, but... But, but, that is not my problem actually. Rat is demon and Obsidious is demon as well. Uh, uh, this is pretty good combination. I was thinking I'm going to use Sister Superior to stun these both, but as they are using Mercy, uh, I need to pay attention when I'm going to cast my sister, if I'm going to use. Let's see what my options are. This is, this is the sister team I was thinking. Ah, uh, this is not bad team, you know. Decisions, decisions. Well, I think I'm going to run this. In case they get going, I have that skull reduction, unbreakable trait. Reduce damage from skulls by 80%. I have a stun option here. Uh, yeah. Stonehammer stuns and burns all enemies and create a mix of 22 red and brown gems, feeds himself and create red gems what a divine Ishpala then can convert to skulls. And I'm going to run monk class because I think I can afford that uh, because this unbreakable trait. I can afford to use monk instead elementalist and gain some mana to my rope dart with possible extra turns. But I don't need to use Astral Spirit though. I could try maybe maybe Orc Diva. You pick an ally and you give them uh, Double magic plus one based attack life and armor and filter mana can only be cast once. Yeah. And Arch Diva has very good traits. That's Sanctuary, Third Trait, Barrier and bless a random ally when matching four or more gems. I think this is what we are going to run. What uh, Thief, so we... Have to worry about a little bit about... Oh, but they don't have that uh, hunt picked. Hunt talent picked. Yeah, I can use... Let's see, season medals, I think. Okay, I think I'm set. Actually, I think I'm going to run this, but I'm going to pick that sister superior at the bottom so that I can stun those demons after mercy has cost. Purple, yellow, minus red. Yep, this is what I'm going to use, but one more thing, check the monk class traits. Yes, because we are using hero down below. Purification, absolutely. Fast healing. Watery binding, rock solid. Stone mastery, fortitude, yes. Okay, let's go. 
There! That is out of the way now. Let's see, let's see, do we have to worry about some merge alignments? There is one, which is no biggie. Right, take that. Okay, that was interesting. I was almost 100% sure they are going to cast Mercy. Take that and get that extra turn there as well. Okay. <coughs> Do we have any alignments? We don't. No skull. No red to skull and no uh, green to yellow. So what we are going to do is... Hmm. Yeah, I'm just wondering if I should cast my stone hammer now or maybe deny this mercy alignment here. If I take it this way, they will get a 5 match with the red drop. I can take it this way. But then again, I could just cast my stone hammer and create more red gems to possibly get some kind of skull alignment. And you know, that life gain is always welcome as well plus the stun but the stun is uh, gone very soon when they cast their mercy but i have my sister here empowered and i can then stun wrath and obsidious and also cleanse my uh, troops in case they get extra turn now i think i have to I uh, pull their hero up top. Yes. And take that. There is Ishbala extra turn, so do that. Nice, and plenty of extra turns, and our hero is back up. And now. I think I have to pull Mercy up top and get rid of her. Take that skull and get extra turn with those yellows. Nice. Take that, get some mana to hero. That as well. Now I guess we could get rid of Obsidious because he has more armor. And now we could take that skull poke over there. Yeah. And that. There, that went pretty nicely. Oh, and again I forgot to check the score. I really have to uh, write a note or something, so I Remember to check those. First weather Lamash to Life and Death and the Possessed King with Orb Weaver class. Very interesting team setup. Not the usual life and death you see in PvP. Okay. Gotta change plans now. I have my old life and death counter team here. And let's go guns blazing with Divinia.
I think that this doesn't matter much. We have Fortitude, which makes us immune to death mark. Orrery is imper impervious, also uh, immune to death mark. Divinia is used up top to give some life and generate mana. And Orrery with the Star Storm should create pretty nice skull alignments with Ishbala and Doomed Axe. Yep, let's go. Or do we want to maybe change our medals? We have season medals equipped and those are fine. And we don't have to worry about Orb Weaver and Tango. That true trap over there because uh, the Divinia should take care of all the cleansing. Although I'm thinking if I should change my class to Elementalist so I could stun their hero. Uh, but I'm really not that worried. In I think I can fight against that lifesteal with Divinia as long as I can keep her alive. Yeah, I'm running this. Wish me luck. Okie dokie, what do we have here? Uh, purple to yellow, not much, not much. We should take... Yeah, if I take this yellow, this purple will stay here and they won't get extra turn. Right. What could possibly go wrong? If I take this... Oh, that green... I can take this too. And leave this red here, in case... Yeah, do that. Nice. There is extra turn. Um, Divinia is up. Do we have skull alignments? We don't. So time to start bashing with Divinia. Nice. How about now? There is extra turn alignment. So do that. Now would be very good time to get my hero up. There is extra turn. Nice, perfect. Then convert purple gems to doom skulls. And uh, that frost weather uh, frees everyone when it dies. So now would be a great time to cast Divinia and cleanse everybody. Okay, nice cascades, mate. Oh. Okay then, there is extra turn, do that, get some mana to hero, which has extra turn over there, do that, their hero is gone, I can't see any extra turns, there is one, with purples when I take this yellow match. Nice, incredibly great alignments and all, all this happens because of this star storm which is a constant uh, yellow and purple storm. And TPK is gone with that skull poke. There, that rolled pretty well. And now we got uh, 1,397 points from that match. That was match 2. Sabapara. Against a book team but with doomed axe. 
Okay, mm well this is you know, this is not very wrong though, but the thing is as doomed axe converts or purple gems to doom skulls, if mercy converts or all purple gems to yellow, then what is this weapon going to convert to doom skulls then? Yeah. But just in case things go wrong, I think I'm going to run this one. They're using first mage. Yeah, I, I, I really don't see I have any problems with that. That That is not working combination with Mercy and Doomed Axe. This have to be Doomed Scripture in case you want to make this team work. And I'm using Sister Superior to get rid of the Freeze. Yes, they are using Snap Freeze. Water Mastery picked over Lightning Strike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No good, no good. And pick back to the stone mastery. Yeah. Okay, they have one extra turn over there. And that's about it. So now we have to think about how we get rid of that. Hmm. Hmm, I don't think I can get rid of that unfortunately. So if I take this blue, this brown will drop here and then this blue will drop here and give them a blue extra turn. I was thinking if they could destroy their alignments doing that, but as they don't have lightning strike, as I said they have that water master picked over there, that is not a good play and I would give a lot of mana to their uh, wild fang who deals triple damage to yellow enemies. Alright, there is a yellow match over there. Wow, well, I am blind. So let's do that. Oh, but I give them a form. <laughs> right. Got too excited. Too soon. Okay, I think guess we take this now. Oh, another! <laughs> Need to wake up, man. I can very much afford to give them that skull poke. However, I'm thinking, should I take this yellow or get Ispala up? I think I'm going to take this red, yellow, yellow, yeah. Right. Okay. It is fascinating when the AI decides that casting their empowered is a better move than taking that skull. I have I have no absolutely no idea how how they do that and what is the mechanism behind that. Uh blue to yellow there is one I think I'm going to cast my stone hammer now.
No good. Nice cascade. Mm, yeah, cast. Stonehammer again. There, finally. Got my Ishbel up. Yeah, I'm, when I'm casting this on Doomed Axe, it will die and then it will entangle Mercy. I think it works that way. Yep. Remembered, right? Mm, what then? I guess I could just take that purple match. And, all right, but Isbala is up very soon. So create red gems, pass the turn. Ishpala is up, and do we have alignments? Oh, we don't. Oh, great. Now we do. Do that and get extra turn. Great. Nice. It was a lot more problematic than I think. If they were using the scripture, the things would be a lot more different, I think. They're also got Doom Scripture and Grave Shear. Hmm. Hmm. This would counter Graves here. He converts green gems to purple. We could convert those green gems to brown. Sun Spear, we could get rid of the Entangle and Snap Freeze with Sister. Yeah, I think I'm going to run this. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, hmm. Right, they are using Sun Spear, so this won't do anything to me. Yeah. This should work. In theory. Wish me luck.
Okay. So first things first, get rid of the status effects with sister. Right, so they don't have any any purple matches with their conversion. But when Graveshear casts it will also enchant the roll because I think Troll is their mm, strongest ally right now. I think I have to cast my gimlet now to get to get rid of this green so that they don't convert all those greens to purple. Yeah, and I won't give any extra turn them either. This will be matched. This will drop here, this will drop here. Yeah. So cast Kimlet and build from there. Okay. The enchant there, draw. I simply can't give this purple match for them. That would be my end, I think. Yellow, brown, purple, brown. Take this. Nice, nice. Now I have two moves left. I have to pick this brown gems in order to get my breath up and maybe destroy Droll and then I have a chance. Should I take this and uh, skull bait them? Get brown and blue as well. When I take this brown, these blues will drop here. And I will get the red match as well. And this will stay here. Right, take that. Ah, oh, beautiful. Oh, wow. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. There is a rat alignment. Do that. I'm taking this so I can keep this five mats over here and I'm hoping they will take oh but oh but oh but oh but oh dear oh dear oh dear do they cast their troll how many red gems there are left I think I have to take this match to get rid of those red gems as well 11 
Do they cast their troll? I have to do I have to kill it, yes, I have to pass my turn. It's not that big of a deal. I can't risk that uh, I would pass the turn and then troll start spamming the board and get their Zulgat up. That is not worth the risk. So take it this way and not give that brown formats for them. If I take it this way they will get that formats over there. So take it this way. Yes. Okay. So far so good. Now there is a gymlet. Extra turn. Get the enrage and life and wrath up as well. It would be great to have some yellow gems what to turn into skulls. Meanwhile we can take this. Hope for some apps, some cascades. There is no blue to brown or yellow to skull extra turns available. We do that and maybe get our hero up top. Excuse me, up. No, but this should do it. Yellow and no it doesn't actually. Because we are gaining only half mana from explosion destroying. Uh, there is Gimlet extra turn. We could take that. Yeah. And beautiful. Right. No extra turns. Rip armor from their hero. There. And one skull poke. There. Yeah. I'm pretty happy about that win. Uh, Graveseer paired with a uh, meddled troll is always very <coughs> uh, hard to fight against because the moment Graveseer casts, you have exactly three turns to make your moves before troll starts bashing. Their Barakan is Andy, who is using a book team. Luckily, their scripture isn't tempered to max. And they're using Frost Mage. We are swapping over here. We are using Sister to get some cleanse. And if they get going, we have Stonehammer, who has incredible uh, skull resistance with that third trait. All right, let's go. First thing first, cast Sister to get rid of the. Freeze, then we can take that. Then I think we have to take this. Yes. Oh, but they have this over here too. Hmm. Well, this is of obviously better. However, is there. Oh, bollocks. No, there isn't. A three match over here would have been perfect so that yellow would have dropped here and we would have get got also that purple alignment. I think I'm going to take this now to get my to get some mana to my Ishbala. And I'm hoping they cast their rabbit first. If they don't, well we will see what happens. Of course they cost their mercy. Let's see if my stone hammer can stand. Yes, it can. Very well. We have alignment over here. Uh, unfortunately our Our hero is now frozen, so when I cast Oh right, but it yeah, right. We get extra turn from yellows over here. 
which will pass the turn because our hero is frozen but we are also dealing red extra turn here so I think I am going to keep my turn when I cast Ishbala I'm not 100% sure but I think that's the case and we absolutely have to do that in order to um, stay in this game yes worked like a charm I do that one more extra turn and I can pull their hero up top we get it from here brown yellow yes beautiful and uh, also I forgot that I'm using monk which has that purification talent so I was worried uh, worrying uh, there was no need to worry about that freeze so now pull their hero up top uh, we don't have Ishbala alignment but we can take that then we take that and our hero is back up now and their hero is gone great what we could do now is pull rapid up top and I think we could I think we could create some red gems for Ishbala so cast zone hammer get some life thanks for those One more there nice Stonehammer is absolutely brilliant troop on yellow day mark my words friends and craft it if you can and of course I forgot to check the score ah bollocks I need to write that paper and tape it on my screen 9492 points from yellow day boy I take it any day thanks for watching mate have a great day and peace.